Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's the last war of the season, number 12. And we're going up against an alliance called Sandman 2. Now, what I found out after going in here, uh, someone noticed that we didn't have a global node. And you know, I usually bring uh, Guillotine 2099 to deal with that flow uh, defense tactic, but we didn't have one here. Uh, the reason is because of our recent losses, we went down a tier. So there's no global defense tactic. All right, so uh, you notice they did not place a defender on that first node, which is normal. Uh, it's what I've come to expect. And so I'm going in here as usual with Gladiator Hulk. I don't care about any of that bleed damage that Yondu is going to put on me, but I still want to try and get those intercepts in and avoid taking too much blocked um, hits. All right, so now we're just gonna bait out that special one. Come on, get it out, get it out. There we go. And I noticed that he was running suicide, so that helps me out quite a bit. We were able to get him down. Um, he did a lot of the work for us uh, because of those suicides, so it's all good. Uh, now, I didn't get a chance to fight this mini boss. Uh, as you can see, that boss is not cleared. Uh, I would have definitely went and took that boss out, uh, but it wasn't cleared. When I got back, they already cleared it out. Usually they'll do it like on one boost. All right, so next up, section two, and I take path two, and since we dropped down a tier, I don't have to worry about the empowered immunity. Now, of course, I didn't know any of this when I went in with the team that I did. I'm still thinking that I'm gonna have to deal with empowered immunity. Not that it makes a big difference because I go in with the same team most of the time, okay? But I could have at least brought in Starkey. Uh, I still miss him. But anyway, for this uh, next fight, I'm going to try to finish the fight with a special three. But I wanna bring your attention to something that I'm doing here. Uh, when he fires off his special one, I want you to watch how I deal with that. Notice how I dash back, and you see I did that light attack? That is gonna avoid analysis charges. So by dashing back, firing off a light attack, and then dashing and evaded the rest, I avoid the consecutive uh, motions that increase his analysis. If all you do is block his special one or evade the special one, uh, you're gonna be building up analysis charges. So it's just a way to keep his analysis charges down. You have to get that timing just right. All right, so now I'm at a special three and what I wanna do at this point is wait until he's at 5%. Now I could fire it off and hope I finish him just naturally, but at 5%, uh, of his health, it's a guaranteed kill, okay? Uh, so that's why I usually wait. So what this will mean is that when I use her in another fight, she's gonna start with a 100 hit combo. And that's when she actually starts doing some crazy damage. From 100 hits to infinity, she just increases damage. Once you hit 100 hits, every hit count on that hit uh, counter, every every hit increases her damage. All right, so this time uh, I could have gone in with Guillotine after having uh, built her up, but I wanted to save her because there were a couple of fights that I was looking at uh, on the mini boss island. And Omega Red is great to fight Morningstar, especially since she's awakened because you have a chance to get a bleed. You see I have two stacks of bleed. One of the stacks is from my double edge mastery, but the other one is from hitting her. And so as long as I have that bleed on, I'm healing up because he doesn't take any damage from the bleed and I have willpower, which it triggers. So I love fighting uh, Morningstar with my Omega Red. Great matchup. Uh, also great for Caltrops or anything like that, all right? So down he goes, or she goes. Now, I did not get another fight in this war. Uh, there were two fights that I wanted to fight. I saw a cord that I thought for sure they were gonna leave for me. 
they didn't. Um, they went ahead and, and took that uh, cord down. And then there was another fight that I was going to use guillotine 2099 on that they took that one down as well. Uh, like this uh, Mr. Sinister here, I would have used guillotine 2099 against him. But as you can see, he wasn't uh, free. And by the time he was free, they went ahead and cleared it. So that was it for my participation in this war. And at this point in time, the war is pretty close. And I don't know if we're really going for the win or not. We have some people that it's just a matter of pride uh, to just go ahead and finish out the uh, season, if we can, with a win. You know, we've lost the last two, and they would like to finish the season with a win. But a lot of people just did not care. So we'll be back. And we will take a look at the end results and find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. So we lost all three of the final wars of the season. After getting to a great start, a winning streak, the last three fights, all losses. So congratulations to Sandman 2. Um not to take anything away from them, but to give you a little history of what happened. So we were on a winning streak. The Alliance leaders decided to make a push for platinum in this second Alliance of ours. And not everyone was on board, but uh, we tried to, you know, go for platinum. So we had a winning streak. People were using items up, you know, and they were serious. Then came that one war, three wars ago, where we, you know, one of the battle groups did not take down their boss. And it wasn't so much that they weren't able to, but we don't know what the details were. But um, we had one person in my battle group who was putting in 150 percent. They were using units, items, everything that they could, soloing the boss and everything. And they were watching. And they saw someone in the other battle group go in with like 30% health, didn't even heal up or anything, didn't boost, went in there and died. So when you see something like that, and then they didn't take down a boss, that really, really demotivated a lot of people. And the next wars reflected that demotivation. But I'm actually happy for Sandman 2 because they needed this win to get them up to, I think, uh, gold one. You know, whereas for us, we're going to be leaving this alliance, going back to our main alliance, which is platinum. So uh, definitely congratulations uh, to Sandman 2. Uh, I'm happy that you guys won, actually. But just to get you a little bit of a background of uh, what was going on. And we're going to lose a, a few people. Uh, we've already replaced a couple. And so hopefully in the uh, next season, uh, folks will be a little bit more serious since that will be our main alliance. Uh, we're also losing some people that didn't want to play at that level of Alliance War. They wanted Alliance Quest, but relaxed Alliance War. And since we were making that push for Platinum, they didn't want to do it. Um, so they're going to be leaving and being replaced um, very shortly. So I know I didn't do a lot of fighting in this war, the uh, last war of the season. Uh, but hopefully when we go back to our main alliance for the last time, we will be doing this switching thing no more. Thanks to the uh, alliance ticket system. So happy about that. Uh, but I'll get some more videos of other fights. Some of the wars uh, contain bonus fights from other members of my battle group. So hopefully we'll have more activity on that front so that uh, videos like this where uh, I didn't participate all that much, didn't get a chance to do a lot of fighting, uh, will still be you know, more entertaining because you'll get more of a variety and you'll see uh, other fighters, other fighting styles, uh, different fights, different paths that are more difficult paths and that sort of thing. So 
uh, you have that to look forward to hopefully next season. But that's going to depend on how often I can get them to post up videos uh, that they recorded of their fights. And if we're serious about war, we're supposed to be recording all of our fights. And any deaths are supposed to be um, posted up. But that should mean that they all have recordings of their fights. But it is what it is. We'll find out uh, next season how it goes. So take care. And you all have a blessed day.